Greetings everyone and welcome to the continuation of the Old World Blues ASC campaign or series in which we're playing now as the Chickasaw Muscogee Coalition led by Lushanya Hajo. Aharjo. Um, so, she's the heiress of one of the largest casino families in the coalition. She had a relative peaceful upbringing, but was trained and schooled in all manners of things that made their family as long-lasting and successful as they are. She had a short, reasonable, successful career as a lounge singer before the death of her parents at the hands of a raider incursion put her into a position where she had to take over the business and the de facto leadership of the coalition earlier than anyone expected. We're the National Spirits, we're a casino group. Um, we have Oklahoma Strip. We love strips. <clears throat> the support of our people, of course, as well as Three Nations Trade Center, but the smoke and fire. When the bombs dropped, we were prepared. A collective effort of all of our people brought together funding and scientific knowledge and engineering prowess and spiritual guidance to keep us safe underground while the smoke and fire washed over the earth. Our forefathers got the Great War of the Town of Smoke and Fire. We survived by being prepared. The smartest people in the community foresaw war coming, predicted it would be quick and end in total devastation on both sides. We built shelters, mud the mounds, not quite vaults, but good enough to let us survive comfortably with good enough goods. To store to bridge the town we needed to spend underground. What do we have in abundance? Food? Entertainment? Weapons? Honestly, this is the best choice, and entertainment makes sense, because we have uh, attractions as well as casinos. But as the earliest ancestors emerged from the ground in the town, the legends claimed these lands, so did we once more. The accord. Separate from the land, but together in spirit, we wrote down everything we needed to guide our nations into the future. Which is great. We get a whole 1.3 political power every single day. If we can, I want to see if we can try to go to war with the Chain Choir. At least take somebody out early on in this campaign to get us a little more territory, more resources and stuff to core. But leaving the Mother Mountains. We knew we could not stay forever underground, but the surface was too dangerous for a while. Directly after the bombs dropped, how do we stay underground? Five years? Ten years? Twenty years? We stayed for twenty years, of course. So we have the family business. We have uh, light up the night. Going to the river, the choir awakens. Oh. Oh. Last of the last patrol. Scrapper Hive. Division train town. The choir sings. War goals for the chain choir to core territories. Leave nothing left standing. Remove stuff. We almost got used to the song. But it feels weird without it. Or we get on this way. Going to the river. An old grudge. Scrapper compact stuff. Huh. I don't know about this. The law prevails. Criminals are pulling the strings. Except for war bands. Well, this is different. Except for war bands. So this is for Scrapper's Compact. For, as well as these guys. Chain Choir. So we do these guys and these guys. Maybe even like these guys. Oh my god. Uh, well then, I'm not sure what to do then. Uh, but we did this one before because I want to get at least 150 political power. While our nations have worked together for a long time, not large cooperative projects were a rare thing. Maybe it's time to change that. So, <clears throat> the people, the cord of the First People's Junction, efficient and protected construction allowed us to stay in contact with our mother mounds while we were underground. As soon as we decided to come to the surface again, we were contacted by the other groups to come together to discuss how to proceed further. This ended in us signing the first accord, the cord of the First People's Junction. What was the most important concept we wrote down? Safety or freedom? Oh, that's not very much political power, though, even though that's more. We're going to need more infantry defense. I'll be honest. Let's go with safety, freedom. I think freedom or safety. Oh, I don't know. Do we want more freedom or do we want more safety? Because infantry is not very good. It sucks. But freedom. I'll go with freedom because the people have, are free to go to any casino and attraction they want to. But it has to be safe, too. Hmm. Anything here that's really worth doing to get a r faster than anybody else? Honestly, not really. So, if that's the case, Expedition. Received a Mysterious Vision. Expedition, you get Horsemen, which is cool. Three Outrider Cavalry. Schooling for everybody's not bad. Preparations for the pit. Clean out the Raiders like normal. Share the spoils. Reopen the pit, which wouldn't be bad either, but... Uh, things that are unique is Light of the Night. <clears throat> the casinos we eat up uh, a lot of power with all their lights and machines, so much so that we often get brownouts in either the casinos themselves or other areas of the city. We need to rig up a couple more generators to keep that from happening, of course. Red River Casino. A traditional casino with all the machines and tables you could expect. It was famous before the war for being the largest casino in the Plains Commonwealth. Investing in it will bring a disused wing of the casino back into full use, increasing the floor space of the casino by almost 50%. Increase the number of fully rented casinos by one. Nice. The Stingwing Clan Resort and Casino. While still having all the usual games, the Stingwing focuses more on leisure and entertainment. 
Uh, bands, musicians, and other various stage acts perform nightly, luring locals and tourists alike into spending money on the drinks and food. Investing in the Stingwing will allow us to open an attached hotel, meaning guests will stay longer and spend more money at the m bar, plus additional income from rent and room and services. Light of the night. Ibofang uh, Casino. The Ibofang uh, Casino likes to put on a good show. Everything they do is themed after traditional myths and culture of our people. People dress in traditional garb and guests can take part in ceremonies, pacifying the spirits, and bringing good fortune and gambling. The spirits just love small monetary donations, too. Investing in the Ibofanga will also install an impressive light show displaying the spirits and allowing them over hidden speakers to announce new shows and happy hour at the bar. Every roadside attraction you open increases your casino payout slightly and reduces the chance of bad events. Pops. So, a night to remember. So, we've all of those we're going to do. Family businesses. The pit boss. The black sheep. Unrest in the houses of lights. Oh, God, no. Criminal element. That's not good either. Um, addressing local situation. If we want to continue to improve, we need to curry favor with one or all the major groups in our nation. We have some options on how to accomplish this, though. In the meantime, um, investing in casinos and the surrounding attractions will increase our income drastically. But be careful, gambling is not just unreliable for the gambler. Casinos will receive the payout once every quarter, and the next one is expected to be 10,000 bottle caps, barring unforeseen circumstances. Casinos get more income than attractions, but attractions reduce the chance of bad events. Visions of an unknown woman. We received a report la la late last night two hunters received in what they call a vision. Ra after a rather unsuccessful hunt, they were prepared to head home when they heard strange noises seemingly coming from everywhere at once. Looking for the source of that noise, they spotted a woman that suddenly appeared like an illuminated shadow a few dozen meters away from them. She was wearing loose robes and carrying bundles of grain. Cautiously, the hunters approached her. Before they could get too close, she said only the words, Come to me, pointing westward. At this point, a map appeared next to her in thin air, looking similarly ethereal to her. The hunters, they said, or they were certain that it would show the location at the end of the Arkansas River. Then the woman disappeared again in a flash of light. Well, the hunters ran back to their post, as far as they could, to report what they had seen. There's always been a lot of discussion what this vision means. The Choctaw storyteller said this event bears a striking resemblance to the one of our le ancient legends. The Cherokee Council of Scientists and Engineers say the vision could be reasonably easily achievable given the right technical know-how and resources. But all this means that someone went to great lengths to bring this message to us. Too much effort for this could be somewhat trap. Even if it would be somewhat of an undertaking to make the trip, the chances are the result would be worthwhile, even just to satisfy our curiosity. Time to plan an expedition and the pit boss. Uncle Lamb had been the pit boss for the Red River, Red River Casino since before I was born. He's been advised by my parents, and he's one to me currently. If there's something going on, either in the casino or in the area at large, he is first to know. The Black Sheep. Aspen is, she's always an odd one out. Didn't take too well to a floor job in one of the casinos. Didn't want to have to do anything with the logistics and management side of it either. After her parents died, she fell in with certain people that, let's say, I wouldn't usually let them step inside one of her casinos, but she's still family, and it is one of my duties to see our family prosper. The Family Business My name is Lushanya Hajo. My family's been one of the leading groups of our people since before what our forefathers called the Smoke and Fire. We're the first in out of the bunkers, and we were the first to reopen one of the greatest casinos in the area. That's our legacy, and I will build on that legacy. But we're going to go with a lot of political power. Uh, I'd rather do this one. Criminal under Underworld. The Criminal Element. So there's always a somewhat organized criminal underground in our nation. Considering the situation back then, it sprung up surprisingly quick after we resettled the area. Now that seems to be on the rise. Most likely fueled by those members of my family that tend to see their activities in a more favorable light. But calm beginnings. The first stretch of our journey. <clears throat> I haven't read the calm so far. The weather is fine, and though we're making good time towards our goal on the Arkansas River. Though we barely left the Federation lands, this is to be expected. And even beyond that, the influence of the last patrol can still be felt, even if they are not as powerful as they once were. But soon, we'll travel into mostly unknown territory, and who knows what will happen there. Onwards and upwards, my friends. So doing war propaganda, basic training appointments. Now, the devs have changed up war propaganda once again. Even more weekly war support, point four, it's not bad. But better, better weekly war support from combat casualties, on convoys, enemy bombings. So overall, it's not terrible. We do have three casinos, making us about 40,000 caps every quarter, which is pretty decent. Um, other than that, we're doing okay. We've got a few more advisors. Astai Deer. We've got Chikeli Preddy. We've got Kilhoit, Kilhot Bird, but getting the heck out of Dodge. We know the calm couldn't last forever, though. We were roughly a third of the way to our goal when we encountered what we think are the ruins of Dodge City. Not only were we slowed down by the ruins of the buildings having crashed into the river, oh, uh, we also noticed several corpses hanging from the few intact bridges we crossed under. This puts the guards are already on edge, people mentioning spotting movement on the uh, river shore, which didn't make it any better. Nothing happened for a while until a shot from the ruin took a, the head of a guard on the starboard side. Uh, the crew started to hunker down, guards went into cover and exchanged fire with an enemy they couldn't actually see. The captain put some strain on the engines to get out of the area as fast as we could. A mysterious stranger attacked. A wandering hooligan interfered in a battle between one of our warriors and a raider and a shot or guy. Even the raiders were appalled and asked why he took their side. Apparently the fool assumed that we were the villains because of the poor quality of our hospitality industry. Everybody's a critic. Best case, a man's an arm, amoral lunatic. The worst case, a prolific serial killer. Oh, that's not good. 
Oh god, no, don't lower our stability. No! We need more attractions too, by the way. So we're doing the pit boss, and we'll do uh, the criminal element, but then we're gonna do the pops, maybe? More caps? Uh, aluminum? Ah, oh, let's get this one. Rita's Cafe, because we get a purification station. Apparently, way more common on the West Coast before the war, Rita's Cafe was a popular chain of restaurants that had a distinct futuristic look. Well, the future turned out to be a bit different than people imagined. Anyway, as far as we can tell, this is of only of its kind in the region, it would be a great boon to that life, or to the area, if we could bring it back to life. Yeah. Board new paths. The river clearly went some or new possible old paths in the years since the war. We came across a partially flooded village that has now snaked its way through. Uh, the lo local wildlife was not particularly fond of us passing through, but it didn't pose any real threats to us. Marlurks are hard to kill due to their heart thick shells, but their pincers could not pierce our ship holes. The Marlur kings were a different thing altogether, but they were scarce enough among the regular Marlurks that we could pick them off early. Before the sonic attacks could harm anybody. While nobody was injured, we were happy to get past this area into more open waters once again. It's roasted Marluk for tonight, my friends. Yum. What's the real research here? Yes, that'd be good. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, 60 day focuses. I hate 60 day focuses. I'm so not used to it anymore. We do have 8 divisions, and they're 18 combo with each, so they're, they're decent. We are trying to, hopefully, going to make some dynamite, some anti tank, stuff like that. Uh, but restocking. We spotted some untouched looking buildings on our port side, uh, including a supermarket and a hardware store. We decided to stop and look as if we could find some useful supplies in it. We indeed found some. We also found out what we thought were a couple of dead bodies and were instead of massive feral ghouls in the resting state. The noises of our shopping trip woke them up and they began shambling towards us. We started on a hasty retreat with a less loot than we planned on getting out of the market. Better hungry than dead, but a little brother war. The first scale attack, stickball match, took a while to get going. Uh, there are various versions of the rules that are half remembered by the participants and judges that nobody could agree on a single one. Some wanted to go with the lacrosse rule set, since they had the most comprehensive rule set of all variations to survive the war. I just want to get back to more traditional versions that got passed down through the generations. In the end, a weird mix of multiple rule sets were adopted as new official stickball rules. The game lasted a good four hours and ended with a brawl just because one team didn't agree with the final score. All in all, everyone agreed that. They all had a good time and should repeat it as soon as possible. Good training for warriors. Do all the strategies to translate to actual war? Uh, let's go with this one. Unrest in the Houses of Lights. Some of our family are discontented with how this nation is currently run. Well, business is going strong, there's still questioning me at every point. Arguing for allowing hard chems and casinos and slavery being allowed. There seems to be a division forming between those that support me and those who follow those radical ideas. The world's largest peanut. We found a large travel brochure mentioning the world's largest peanut. I'm supposed to be in the area. That uh, sounds exciting, so we sent out a team to find it. Turns out the actual thing is slightly underwhelming, but hey, at least it's some all enough for two people to carry in an attraction, stone an attraction, and the pops. A museum of soda. So many different brands of soda, just so many. We didn't even know whether there was anything besides balls and Nuka-Cola. Apart from the fact that it still looked really nice once it slid up again, it's a veritable treasure trove of bottle caps. The audience. We finally arrived at what we thought was our destination. We were greeted by a group of tribals seemed to have expected us, surprisingly enough, accompanied by Mr. Henry Robot. They accompanied us to a grand hall that housed a giant woman. She was resting on something obscured by smoke and strange lights, but it was clear that if she would stand up, she would tower over many a building. It was definitely a woman that our hunter saw on the night. Some of the scientifically minded people in our group quickly pointed out projectors and placed in the corners of the room. We could assume that the vision we received was done in a similar vein, though it was not quite clear where the origin of the projection was from during that e event. The talk with the goddess Diana, as the tribe was called, it was pleasant, but we could not shake the feeling she expected us to be more deferring and awed by our presence than we were. What we were impressed by was the reason she brought us here. Horses. Honest to God horses. They were pretty sure there weren't any around anymore. She basically confirmed that suspicion by saying that these horses were specifically produced to survive in the wasteland by some hidden machines away in a secret place, and they were a gift to us. We had to quickly figure out the logistics of putting them on our boats and somehow keeping them safe on the tra long trek back home. Also, some doubts became loud among crew and expedition members about why she would gift us something like this. What were her motives? We're not sure, and we should hope she won't ask for a favor in return at some point. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, perhaps? Correct. A tough decision. The Raider gang holed up in the pit transformed the erstwhile place of learning into a maze of traps. A couple of them being heavily armed, this means that if we could take them out, we would not be able to do so without heavy losses. We could try to reason with them, but it's not guaranteed to succeed either because Raiders rarely listen to reason. Also, this may lead them to being aware of our designs for the place and digging even deeper. Whatever we do, everyone we needs to pitch in and we need a group of decisions, a group decision of how to progress from here. We should send our troops, send negotiators in, just because I don't want to lose anybody if we can. Um, scavenging, recycling, uh, more of that, uh, not worth it. Um, but we're gonna do respectable businesses. I wanna be respectable for this campaign. We never actually drew up a proper law specifying what casinos can and cannot get away with. If I want this place to be a destination for people from all over the wasteland, I can't afford to have get a bad rap. So, uh, we'll just do it. Anyways, you guys can train, because it'll get slightly more army XP. Barely, really just barely any army XP, but... It's a little more than nothing. Um, we're currently at well equipped army and rest in the houses of lights. God dang it, I hate that because we lose pretty much the majority of our political power, which really freaking sucks. Because we were doing pretty well with it earlier. We could have done taking a cut, which was okay. We tried to negotiate. Okay, um, this is okay. These chems are during combat, which is eh, okay. 
Sending your troops to just to die to a makeshift explosives if a hit and spike traps does not seem like a good way of solving the issue. Especially we can do without a loss of life. Maybe we extend the same courtesy, that of not losing their lives to the Lord of the Pit, and as goons we can come to an agreement that satisfies both parties. Approaching with a small team of negotiators showing a white flag in the hopes that the Raiders knew what that means was the tensest moment of the whole operation. Surprisingly enough, they were not shot immediately and actually managed to get a parley, parley started. This led to the Lord of the Pit and has been giving up to the Pit to us, as long as we promise them no repercussions for anything uh, they did while being in the raiding business and a permanent place in the ranks. This actually may benefit us in the long run in different ways. More people capable of handling weapons is always good. Also, while crude, the defense has showed an impressive level of ingenuity, which you surely can apply to other construction efforts. And the Lord of the Pit himself is a capable leader managing to keep a raider gang together for multiple years. I guess we made some new friends today, did we? I got more uh, manpower. Nice. Our bouncers, because we really could use more arms workshops. One thing that I need to do is keep positive image for the areas, getting our bouncers geared up so they can deal with any situation and keep undesirables out of our casinos. For the war, bouncers mostly had to deal with drunken people starting a brawl. Nowadays, a brawl may include heavy weaponry. Patrol the streets. Because we could use that manpower too. If I expand the number of our bouncers enough, I can actually make them not only guard the casinos, but patrol the surrounding area too. We'll make it safe for everyone, actually get allowing more people to get here safely, and for some of them, may even decide to stay here permanently. An independent police force. I realize that our bouncers are already acting as a police force in our nation. Convincing enough people to make this officially the case shouldn't be too hard. Setting up an independent force that is not directly tied to any casino or any other group allows us to efficiently combat crime and corruption. I also send a clear message to my detractors on what I believe should happen to de de dealers and slavers. A night to remember. Our people remember the night for a long time, for I surely will. Oh, manpower, rivers, help need it, it's not bad. Support the clans, save dwellers. Well, let's go with armed bouncers next. Jackpot. Awesome. No, wait. That's a bad thing if you own a casino. Sometimes, if someone made bank and went home with a massive pile of caps, you didn't have the courtesy to tip the dealer or to spend it all in the in-house bar. I guess it means your pockets will be a lot less than full in the near future. That sucks. Time to fasten our belts. That sucks. Oh, well. Support the city dwellers. Support the clans. Um, Bottling a plant. Organized scavenging teams. Civilian workshop. Uh, repair industrial complexes. Civilian workshop. Or, or reopen coal mines. Arms workshops, that's not bad. Civilians versus guns. We could use more guns too. Traditional values. The new expansion. Ancestral ways. Adaptation vill doctrine. Artisanal villages. Ten mini nukes. God dang. Uh, functioning mainframe. That'd be good to get to. Dismantle old bunkers. Traditional values. I mean, is it tradition for us to get casinos and use them? Group clan housing. Reclaim the skyscrapers. City dweller. Honestly, I want the civvies, but I think maybe support the city dwellers so we can increase the urban metropolis of our nation so we have more attractions. I kind of am going to go with probably support the city dwellers. The city dwellers are more in line with their goal of a strong, unified nation. To gain favor of them comes mostly down to shaking the right hands and uh, making the right promises, which sounds like exactly what we should do as a, you know, a casino nation. Now, uh, industry is looking pretty good, though. We're doing pretty darn well on our industry. Next, our bouncers, horse breeding program. The stock we brought with us from Diana won't last forever. If anything long term, we want to keep using horses down, uh, down the line. While the need for a dedicated breeding program is clear, the specifics are up for discussion, as, as is how much of our current stock we dedicate to it. The more horses are bound up in breeding programs, the less we have for our current needs. Large scale, medium, specialized breeding programs. Good balance between bonus strength and production penalty time. Good bonus with short product production penalty time. Harder to tame, less reliable. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know my uh, time for that. Because we do have three divisions from the uh, from stuff earlier, so that's good. Thank God we got that. Patrol the streets. Um, after that, what else are we going to do next? Now to remember, proving your name. Well, we can't do the right side now, which I prefer this one for more compliance, but whatever. Um, I was the one that pushed the knife in her throat. It wasn't my first girl tonight, and it wasn't the last. Much blood was spilled, a lot of it by the fam my family members, on whichever side they ended up on the end. I'll carry the scars and the lessons from that night with me for the rest of my life. A night to remember. A police force that they couldn't control or bribe, apparently, was the last straw. It wasn't long after the official inauguration of the new police chief that things came to a head. Several members of the criminal underground stormed many of the high-ranking casinos, trying to make it take out or take hostage, leading members of the casino families, all in a bit to gain control of those establishments. But we were prepared. I was prepared. They were greeted by a hail of bullets, a good amount of my own pistol, killing many and making the rest flee outside, waiting for something to my dismay. I reckon as a few faces among the dead. People I thought of as friends, family. I didn't think of the rift caused by our differing opinions went this deep. 
Oh no, the initial wave of attack had beaten back. I was about to retreat to one of our offices in the Red River Casino that was made into an impromptu war room. Aspen joined me halfway there. I didn't see her in the defense, so I was pretty sure I knew what was going to happen. I was not surprised, just sad when she pointed a gun in my head. What came as a surprise, at least to her, was a knife sticking out of her throat a blink of an eye later. How to lead a casino was not only the thing my parents taught me. My family was the first out of the bunkers. We didn't survive by a pure chance against the raiders and hostile creatures. That too is part of my legacy, a legacy that Aspen did not want, a lesson she never learned. Uh, it's easy to see why they swayed her to her side. To their side, she basically free access to wherever she feels like. This is invaluable if certain people want to gain information or access to certain areas. So after one last look at her body, I carried on. The night was still young and they were still waiting outside. We raided the police for assistance. This would be a trial by fire for them too. Aspen has been killed. So we lose 5% consumer goods. We get better garrisons. We get 100 political power. Get worse resource efficiency gain. And replace a family divided with a family tempered. Oh! We actually get daily army speak. Oh, thank God. I should have done this one faster. I didn't realize that. Bad investments. Crimson, we have the Crimson Caravan for more construction speed. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, horse breeding program is going to take a while. Coalition Gambling Act is pretty good. Family Divided. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Interesting. Wow. Awesome. Where is it? Yeah, right here. The tem Family Temper. Nice. That's actually really good for political power. So, improving our name as well. Um, so, we drew this one earlier. Awesome. Reading out corruption or preemptive measures. Or we can go just going to the river. Choir awakens. Well, well that's not bad. I, like, I want more war support. Even though most of our income stems from gambling, it's not a reliable long term plan for growth. The other option we have is expanding our influence along the Red River, so we can use it to fish and trade. To accomplish this, we need to deal with the potential uh, hostile groups that have settled along it. Maybe we can settle some old grudges in one fell swoop. So we can, uh, after almost 100 years. Uh, the Scrapper's compound took some land from us when we were still struggling with the aftermath of a series of tornadoes sweeping through our nation. They defended it fiercely ever since, so we want that land back, of course. We don't need to be unreasonably cruel about it, we can give them a choice. Secret handshake. <coughs> the Lost Lodge has been occupied on the south side of the Red River for a long while. So far they haven't shown any signs of aggression, and seem content with protecting the sediments under their control, as, long, as far as the records show. There's never any open conflict between our nations, maybe we should turn this unofficial truce into an official one. This will also open up both nations for more trade. Uh, let's read about corruption, probably. Even the majority of the big players that attacked us that night have either fallen either during the attack or in the various skirmishes that followed the next few days. I few escaped. Lying low, but I'll find them and I'll, ne I'll never have to come to this far again. This ends now. Corruption, if you're any of this, please go ahead. What was political power for? We got we have a lot of political power coming in now, which is great. Bring to measures. We need a better information network if we want to prevent anything like this ever happening again. Liam was always good with ferreting out information. Maybe it's time to give him some more funding and people to really get the, let, let that ability shine. And looking for entertainment. Ooh, more stability. After not like that, everyone could use some distraction. What better way than a good movie? And I just know the place where we can get, get some. If the future isn't bright, at least it's colorful. And looking for love. The visit turned out very different from what I expected, from what we both expected. I guess. Oh, boy. And here we are at, everybody. Now we're at war with the good old Scrapper's Compact, and we're doing the best we can to try to push through and defeat, defeat them all. But, you know, we'll see what happens overall. Oh, uh, you guys just kind of hang out. Uh, you guys don't let them move. Yeah, no movement for you guys. No movement at all. Let the horses do okay, and they should be able to get down here very quickly. Like that. Nice. Two divisions encircled. What's well, not to love? Very good. Delightful. We're doing quite okay. Losses, casualties, 176 versus 183. Not great, but we just did preemptive measures to get a, a company here, which is pretty good. Rooting out corruption would be very nice as well. We'd like another research slot eventually, but... Alas, it's not in our favor right now. We'll get there, though. We will get there. Oh, you're just here to, like, hang out. Because these guys will get attacked eventually as well. I have not called on any of our allies, because I want to call the territory for myself, and we don't have to do any deal with them too much. So that's looking pretty good. You, on the other hand, become a mysterious stranger. That's good. You're fine. Uh, you three are leading the charge across the entire wasteland, which is good, good, good. Uh, do we have enough infantry divisions here? Yes, we do. Because I would like to make more instruments, if possible. Not much, but it's honest, uh, encircling. No, you go here too, and you do that too. If you move fast enough, you can do very, very well. No, we don't have enough demo equipment or, um, anti tank, but whatever. You know, what else is new? Yeah, special forces versus our special forces. Their special forces will die. Thank you very much. You're actually just going to immediately come over here too. And do that as well. Maybe you can do this. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, you son of a gun. I wanted to make an encirclement. But they wouldn't let us. God dang it. Wait, 
Well, destroy them then. Utterly destroy them. Follow the hang dogs against Lanius. Alright, so be it. Anything here? Um, I'm not sure. I think it should be okay to do something like this. More attack and defense. Because technically it's special, spec, spec, special ops. Now, these are considered spec ops, aren't they? Maybe not. I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see then. At the very least, I want us to get over here. At least get rid of that, so that would be good. Go Intelligence Network. You should be fine. Just go in here too. You'll be fine. Bad investment bailout. The Mysterious Stranger Tax. Oh, god dang it. That sucks. Oh, we lost more. Uh, dang it. War measures were fine. Gonna do both these. And we're over here, which would be good. So actually, now I'm just gonna combine these guys all together. Well, they didn't do that. So we can make an attack here to here, maybe. There you go. Looking decent. Not perfect, but decent. Making some roads. Eventually make some more roads here. that will be pretty good. Uh, let's see. One to one. Actually, we'll just go right here. Yeah, that'll work. As soon as we get over there, they're going to start moving, probably. Yeah, I'll throw them move. Yeah, look at that. Nice. That's beautiful. Two divisions, too. Press, capture, scatter, scatter plans. If you remember that, please go ahead. Four, can't afford this. Uh, let's wait to get to a new crossroads. Gives more army XP gain. Should be pretty good. Beautiful. Up next, recovery rate. We're going to recover even faster. It should be good. Yeah. Three days left. Not bad. Should be right here. Pop up. Corruption's nice. And secret handshake? Yes. Land doctrine's coming along. Anything else here, really, that we really care about? Not too much. Oh, they actually have free fighters over there. That's not good. Well, we can come up here instead, maybe. It's only one division we can encircle, but that's still better than nothing. Hey, if they want to leave. That's a giant mistake on their part, but, you know, we'll take it. And they go. Another infantry division, nice. 20 combo width. Pretty decent to me. Especially horses, are, they move quite a bit faster too, which is nice. Don't give them anywhere to move. Ah, they took that tile, but it really means nothing. Honestly, what? You will do this. Bop, bop. That's all you need. Let him move around, thinking that they have control of the situation, which they obviously don't. We want to increase the amount of horses we have here as well. Don't let him move. Very nice. Lots of pressure on them. And they're gone. It's not to love. Another encirclement, you say? Um, doom boom. Right here. And they've had more than enough time to recover. That's fine. You just go there. Capital Hill is gone. Fine that we're getting somewhere in this campaign. Calm beginnings. Oh, wait, what? Oh, another group must have just started going there. Well, that's pretty late. Okay, whatever. Make sure these guys don't move. But whatever. Nice. Now 
Nice. Pretty good. And... Honestly, you could probably just do a generic attack from here to, to the capital. Let the horses lead. And let him go. Good for makes me too, I guess. Get the heck out of Dodge rather earlier. Oh, support sanitation development. And I get three new building slots. We should actually probably use that. There's a lot of caps. You know what? We'll do that one. Why not? Building slots can be a little bit of a hassle to get. And we're, we have more than enough stuff to use, so. Good handshakes. Nice. Looking for entertainment. Very good. Forging your paths, huh? That's not asked questions. One of our recent guests and is a shady individual comes up from the north. I had a few drinks in, she mentioned she's from the Midwest Brotherhood, and I see some stuff, man. We didn't ask many questions because she was mostly harmless and tipped well, but what the heck is a Calliope, a Calliope queen? Can't be any worse than the Jibbering Choir, I guess. As we have a cup of tea here, keep us nice and warm. Delightful. It's absolutely delightful. Ah, oh, we got him. That took quite a while, but hey, look, we got some more interesting rifles. That's pretty good. So, awesome. So much scrap. Oh, well, if you're gonna read that, please go ahead, I guess. Uh, that's auto completed. Um, oh, they have to be. Oh, I guess we can't do this one. If you're gonna read this one too, please go ahead. We're supposed to pop with them, but whatever. And stopping the crusade. The Masons turned out to be harmless, and the compound was never a big threat. The Sapphire Warband, on the other hand, is a very threat to everyone they consider to have fallen to the evils of technology. Uh, we're not sure who they th think that includes, but we better strike first before they consider us being part of that group. The Red River Economic Zone. The Red River lands are not just frontier, they are a new chance of prosperity. Oh. I fear the Scrappers. Here we, we are here to stay. The Scrappers compact is inspired or not. We can have them constantly harassing. Our scavengers and transport need to find a new way to deal with them. But we're probably going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see what else we can do with the Chickasaw Muskogee Coalition. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.